Welcome back to Decentralized News. Uh, today we are looking at uh, Origin Trail, which is a project that has a token with the ticker TRAC. And uh, you can currently find it on uh, marketplaces such as KuCoin, Wabi Global, HitBTC, Coinbase Exchange, Bitmart, and a whole lot of other smaller exchanges but of course you can always go to decentralized.news for the best cryptocurrency exchange reviews and uh, DeFi platform reviews and all of that good stuff please give us a like and a subscribe so origin trail describes itself as a decentralized uh, knowledge graph uh, organizing um, the most important assets and uh, making them discoverable verifiable and also valuable through connecting physical world assets in uh, art, healthcare, fashion, education, supply chains with uh, a digitization format that would include smart contracts, uh, NFTs, and uh, a combination of some DeFi elements and um, just overall use of blockchains. So this would be to connect a single reality through uh, web 3 and um, using origin trail to be this link that verifies and uh, uh, works on uh, the digital asset side of things so it's a very interesting project i mean they've been around for a while at the moment the token trades at about 20 cents i don't own any of this token i'm not looking to get any anytime soon but um it is um and one of those projects has been around for a while and i just hadn't really like taken a look at what they're trying to do they do say that the parachain is actually live and um it's uh, also described as uh, one of the most important assets making them um very sort of uh, decentralized in uh, organizing and discovering and pretty much verifying physical to digital assets such as uh, art or diplomas, certificates, NFTs, and uh, using this uh, decentralized knowledge graph is supposed to allow the world's data assets to be structured, linked, and persistent to become more uh, compatible using Polkadot. And uh, they are using that, of course, as the parachain. And uh, there's a whole lot of uh, news in terms of like uh, the development that are related to what they're doing from a Polkadot um, perspective. But the core development company, which is Trace Labs, actually started back in 2013. So they've got uh, a presence in the UK, in Slovenia, in Serbia, and also in Hong Kong. And uh, so they do have these SDKs and other tools that are open source that you can find to start building. And of course, the company actually extends uh, an active uh, stakeholder in uh, data standardization efforts as um, this regards uh, sort of our EPIC 2.0 working groups under the umbrella of GS1, implementing numerous solutions that are built on top of uh, Origin Trail and uh, that public infrastructure together with the pan partners that they have, including uh, British uh, Standards Institution, for whom uh, Trace Labs also leads the development of uh, investments of trust so other partners include uh, oracle swiss federal railways and a network of about uh, 300 other partners and uh, some 15 national and international r d projects they also won the uh, walmart food safety collaboration center innovation spark award in 2017 and uh, yeah so it's a very interesting project i'm not sure uh, how much of uh, their work is uh, actually out there but uh, i know there are some working groups on food and agriculture technology and uh, supply chains and things of that nature that they're looking into including uh, interoperability and uh, if you actually go on the uh, alliance members uh, site of uh, the section on the site where you can see uh, the people that are involved in the trace uh, and also the TRAPES, uh, the, the lab partners that they have, and also infrastructure partners, institutional supporters that they have as well, that include uh, Fireblocks 
and uh, things like that. So let me know what your thoughts are when it comes to Origin Trail. Is this a project worth looking into? And uh, at the current price, what do you reckon? Is it a good buy? Do they have something that actually makes sense? What I do like is that they have a maximum supply for the issuance of this token at 500 million, 365 of those already in circulation, depending on what the actual use cases are and what the room for growth as far as what the demand would be for the use of that token. Uh, then maybe there is a case to look at whether fundamentally this might be a good buy long term or if you feel like it could come back much lower uh, from the prices that it is at right now it does look like it is kind of bottomed out uh, just looking at the charts it did get to about two dollars fifty at some point so quite a massive uh, uh, drawdown in price so maybe one to look out for it's been around since 2019 also check out links in the description don't forget to like share subscribe and turn on the notification bell see you in the next piece